Not what I uh, was intending today, but we're gonna head out to Lackamas Lake for a little hiking extravaganza. So last week, uh, a friend of mine brought up, why don't you go to the Oculus Anubis in Damascus, Oregon. And I never really looked up what it was until 10 o'clock last night. And there's like a bunch of speculation around this place saying that there's probably a cult that lives there. And there's an underground temple that's made for the undead. Blah, 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 blah. Went to countless forums. Found out actually who the guy, who the owner was of the property. And it really just didn't seem that interesting to me. I mean, I looked at it on Google Maps. I was gonna, our plan was to drive out there and shoot some drone footage of this so-called private, nobody knows what it is land. But I mean, by the time we get out there, it'd probably start downpouring. And, I mean, once I started digging into it, it didn't really seem as interesting as I really thought it was going to be. Some dude's house that's obsessed with statues in the pyramids or something like that. There's all these people saying, oh, people went in and never came back out. We're here, we almost ran out of gas. We gotta get gas before we get home. Um, wish I knew some history on this place, but it's just a freaking lake. It's got a gorgeous landscape. There's the lake, there's part of the lake. I wanna find that waterfall and that dam. Um, yeah, I, I just have a question, um, he is this a goddamn? No, seriously though, uh, I would love to go to that Anubis place, but Oculus Anubis, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't uh, ring a bell with me, I guess. Just a bunch of people sitting in a room thinking about, you know, horror stories about this random house with a pyramid in front of it and an old Egyptian sculpture. I know there's a waterfall or something around here. I'm gonna fly this thing around these trees. Look really cool. That was probably the scariest slash dangerous slash unsafe thing I've ever done with that thing. It survived. We're just gonna eat a couple apples real quick. Is that a good apple? Huh? I need a fork. Uh-huh. Steal the show. My name's Curly Cortez. <laughs> well, look, they got a little RC boat. That's cool. Oh, oh he thinks this thing is fast, huh? Yeah. I should take mine out there and just pick it up. And it's starting to rain, so I guess we're just gonna head back and eat a little snack and then have some dinner and stuff. It's really weird and mystical out here. Look how, how the trees grow and stuff, it's really weird. 
You won't see this in any other part of Vancouver, I guess. That's a really weird, like, drop off there. This is gold mining country. Gold mining country. All those rocks right there, like the faces of them. It's shale. So it's like super easy to find stuff. It's kind of eerie, isn't it? The way this is all grown. Oh, thank you. I love snot on my fingers. Very funny. Very, very funny. A lot of Yeah. Just in case if it starts pouring, we're not stuck. It's not stuck. Under a tree somewhere. Tree somewhere. And then lost forever. Oh yeah, it's starting to rain. See the lake, Chloe? Dogs are all jumping in the water over there. I'm trying to get this as less shaky as possible, everybody. Here's if I put it upside down. It'll be less shaky. Whatever they're doing in their houses, whatever they're doing to get those houses, I want it. One of these days, you never know. One of these days. Good thing we left when we did. Yeah. We just left like five minutes ago. And it is pouring now. We would have uh, walked down the trail a little bit more. I thought we would have been stuck in this rain. Walking back with all this gear. Did you have fun, Chloe? Yeah, with my kids. With your kids? Yeah. You have kids now? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm just doing the compilation thing. Throwing all the drone footage into one big video. And it, it seems like it got a pretty good reaction. There was quite a few people that looked at that one. Um, and I noticed that there's a lot of people watching my YouTube and not liking it. Now when you like it, it puts my name, my channel, or that video alone, it puts my video above someone else's. Anybody that's watching this and that's subscribed, feel free to hit that like button. It only not only helps, but it also helps my videos become one more than that last guy. Um, and I know there's quite a few people vlogging and stuff, so just make sure that when, I've seen what, my videos have been watched 200 times, one of my videos. I think one of them's at 300 actually now. And there's like two or three likes. So the more likes I get, the better it is for me and my channel. But I appreciate the people that do like it, and I appreciate all you subscribers out there. And there's always more to come. I think views do help, but from what I read that the more likes and dislikes you get, the more traffic you get towards your uh, videos. You anything you wanna add? No? 
know in the comments below what you guys do with your leftovers. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, there is one that does this. Peace.